Okay, Gary, first of all, welcome to Glen Torn. Just give yeah. your thoughts. Um, I'm obviously delighted to be here. Um, huge, huge honour to manage this football club. Um, and I'm here to try my best now to, to bring success back to the club as much as we possibly can. Um, your first managerial experience was with Carrick Rangers. Mm-hmm. Won a number of trophies and kept them in the league uh, last season. Do you think it will stand you in good stead for your time at Glentorn? Oh, absolutely. You know, I'm not looking to try and compare the two clubs. You know, managing Glentorn and the expectation that comes with managing this club is, is massive. It's not lost on me that, so it's not, you know, but... I got this opportunity now because of the work that we did do at Carrick and I'm, I'm very, very grateful for the, the, the managerial opportunity I was given there at that club as well. So it was, but uh, we built on that and I'm looking to build on the success that we had there. And you're, you're a relatively young manager. Mm-hmm. You've worked under a lot of top managers before. Is your managerial style similar to anyone you've worked under or anything rubbed off from them? Yeah, absolutely. You know, like you said, I've been incredibly lucky to work with some fantastic managers. Um, if I touch on just the ones in the Irish League, you know, Paul Kirk, whenever I was at the distillery for a short spell, was a fantastic motivator. So he was uh, a lot to do with self confidence. Now Derry was fantastic from that point of view. Um, played for Tommy Wright, who was incredibly professional. So he was played for Roy Walker, who was uh, a very intelligent man. So he was and had great uh, metaphors on football and, and, and ideas around it, like it is. So yeah, I've been incredibly fortunate with some of the managers I worked with. Marty Quinn, who was, again, a fantastic motivator. So, it was, so I've, I've tried to take bits and pieces of all the different managers that I, I worked with and, and try to sort of put my own spin on and my own kind of personality come across. Like, but uh, but certainly I try to take all the little bits and pieces that I picked up of them and, and try to mould it together in, in what makes my managerial style what it is. And you've watched a number of our recent fixtures before you got the job. Is there anything that you've seen in the recent games that Positives, negatives, anything to add on? Yeah, I've, I've seen both. I've seen positives. The first half performance against Balamina was a huge positive, but unfortunately, like I say, we, we just didn't maintain that. Like, you know, when I know what it's like to be at a club whenever things maybe don't go quite your way and you can see the goal and you're maybe on a run of per results, that it's very easy that the head go down and it's easy to let that kind of affect your rest of your performance, you know, but it's my up to me to make sure that we're more resilient than that. Like, we we know whenever if we do concede a goal that we, we have to show that resolve to try and get back in the game as quickly as possible. You know, what the last thing you ever want to try and do is compound a mistake by another mistake, you know, so it's, it's about scrapping it and starting again, like, I mean, and, and having that uh, confidence in yourself that you, you've got enough about using enough and ability about you to, to get back into any game of football and go on and win. You touched on it briefly, confidence is a major thing. You know, mm-hmm. confidence, as you, you can see, is low at the minute within the squad. How can you bring that back out? Because you see within the players that they are a good talented bunch of players. Mm-hmm. Is it just about getting the confidence back within them? Well, well, what you have here at the minute is, is unfortunately, you've got quite a few players that are right injured. You know, they haven't been made available to the manager through maybe more niggly injuries more than anything else. There's a few long ter- longer term ones. Michaels was out long term, while the guard's been out for a bit. You know, so if we can get all our players back fit and available and get them all competing, so it is. So what brings about a good team is is competition within the squad. So it is if you're guaranteed your place every week. You know, you maybe don't train quite as hard as you could. You maybe don't do a little bit extra. You know, whereas if you find yourself out of the team because somebody else is in it and, and you're competing for that position, you push the person that's already in the position to maintain his level of performance to do more than what you're prepared to do and they're already getting the team. So we need to have competition within ourselves before we can actually even go out there and compete out in the park. So if we can do that and we can get everybody fit and available, then if we get everybody that is available to us, there's this football club, you sign for this football club, out there fit and available and ready for selection, then we're going to have a team in that there that's going to be, be up there competing with anybody in this league. First start as manager is against Linfield. Awesome, yeah, it's a huge game. Like so, it is. It's it's one. I suppose when you you haven't played for either club that you, you're very envious of. A bit of ones games that you would like to be involved in. It, it's right up there in terms of an Irish Cup because of the ex- expectations from both sets of fans, the bragging rights and everything else. It's it's not lost on me that like you I mean the tra- traditions of this football club and and being involved in that big game. So. Um, first one of the season. It's a great game for me to get started in. It's it's one I'm really looking forward to, and and uh, the players shouldn't need too much more extra motivation out there to get themselves up for this game. You came across very passionately during the, uh, the press conference, and you mentioned about you know you see yourself staying on beyond your 18 month contract. Mm-hmm. Have the board set you any short term expectations that you need to achieve, or have you set yourself anything that you want to achieve short term? 
I'm always trying to get as many points as I possibly can. You know, my thought process always leads to one one thing at a time. So it is. So the next game is the most important. It's the first next opportunity we have to gain three points. So we'll look at that three points. We'll do everything we can, and we solely focus on it about how we prepare for that, how we. Uh, what we do with between this time and I did I get to work with the players how they recover how they pre uh, prepare themselves for the match and then how we prepare for the game beforehand and the warm ups how we go out about it and then come kick off time it's over to the players to to go out there and perform it's my job as a manager is to yes I got to pick the team and I got to put the team out there like I got to motivate them and get them out there playing but it's how I prepare them and how I make sure they look after themselves between when they're with me whenever they're not with me and then whenever we're ready to play it has to be meticulous about how we go about doing that if we if we can tighten that all up and, and the boys buy into that and, and, and prepare for each game as much as they best as best they possibly can then the three points start taking care of themselves you've announced that Stephen Mills will be your assistant as he was at Carrick a long-term friend of yours mm -hmm. Uh, in terms of the coaching aspect, will you be both very hands on, or do you look to add to the background stuff? Yeah, you touched on it. That's, that's what I do for a living. I, I am a full time uh, a professional sports coach. That's what I do. I'm also hold a professional fitness instructor's award. So I am very hands on. I am very much want to get in working with the players. I want to kind of put my thoughts across to them. I think they have to get to know how I work, to get to know my personality. I've got to get to know theirs. You know, I'm not going to be able to do that by standing back and, and standing off things and looking and serving. We don't have time for that. We, we want points. We want points as soon as we possibly can. We want to climb the table and we want to have as an immediate impact as we possibly can. So short term, mine and Millsy's job is to, to, to get in amongst the boys, to, to find out you know what we've got and what we're working with and what makes this group tick and the sooner we discover that and work that part out then everything else will fall into place. Uh, fans of Glen Torn are very passionate and follow the through thick and thin, have you got a message for them? No, I, again, come and support this football club. Uh, we want to bring passion, we want to bring belief it's back to this this team. We want to have our fans being represented on the pitch by the team, you know, best represented on the pitch by their team. I mean, we want to have that same passion about how we approach each game. They play with enthusiasm, get the ball down, pass it, move it, run beyond, do more. We need to do more, like I mean, than what we have been doing. You know, I think our players need to understand what it is to be a Glentoran football player, and I hopefully that the fans will, will identify with the team they have on the park and. and uh, and I know if they give everything, then the fans will appreciate it. So that's first and, for, first and foremost is hard work and, and everyone else will take care of itself.